All right, guys, we got the C100 all built up, and we linked up with my boy One Way Stefan. I don't know if you guys know, but One Way Stefan type live out in here in Florida now. Like, he's low key like a resident out here in Florida. He, he just be out here. Like, every time Philly gets cold, he tries to find a little escape route just to come out here and look. Shout out my boy Elijah in there. Palm trees, you feel me? No jacket on or nothing. We just catching a little Florida vibe, bro. Anyways, we're about to head downtown, probably head to the beach, and we're gonna talk about this bike for a little bit when we get down there too but first we'll show you the work on the way there they said they're back trick oh watching i can't do that yet for real nah you got that okay Okay, you rocking? I just wanna let you guys know too, like I'm a tall rider. I'm like six foot five, six foot six. I don't even know how tall I am, but it's one of the two. The bars, they don't really hit my leg unless I like turn them sharp, they'll probably hit. Like if I'm making like a sharp turn in a wheelie, yeah, I'll probably hit my knees on the bars, but what do you expect when you're riding like a mountain bike style wheelie bike? What I think I'm probably gonna do is get a longer stem just so I can raise it out just a little bit, but probably raise the uh, neck up a little bit as well so it can not like hit my leg all the time i got some new handlebars that i'm probably going to end up throwing on here anyway so right now we're just riding the bike stock as is and then further down the line this thing is going to be getting tons of upgrades but right now we're right palm beach island about to head downtown where we have to stop by the beach Brakes are definitely broken in now. I'm slow. Okay. Mic check, mic check. I'm filming by the beach, so I hope this ain't too windy. So I'm gonna do a quick walk around of the bike, guys. Starting with the front. We got Rock Shocks, Judy, front suspension forks. There are 120 millimeters, 19 inch aluminum frame. Jake 100 helped design these, right? What? Like the C100s? Yeah. Oh, bike, that's his design. Oh, my fault. Yeah. My I mean, phone. like, yeah. So this is not stickers, right? Nah. That's actually in the frame? Yeah. yeah It'll so, come up, though, like, with time. Yeah. I'm probably going to have Rattle Supply cook something up for me. You know, I want to do a second colorway on this. But for now, I'm going to just leave it how it is because I like how in the in the sunlight, I don't, you can't really see it on camera, but, if like. If you put stickers over it, it's going to cover it good. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I'm going to probably leave this bike stock for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? We got SLX. Shimano cranks. These are some nice cranks, guys. A very huge upgrade. 34 2 Shimano sprocket. Got the One Way Corey signature pedals. Shout out to my boy One Way Corey. It's a nice little collab. I'm not a huge fan of the Maxis grifters. I used to run them a lot back in the day. Probably like 2020 on my old Fast Ripper. But one thing I remember from the Maxis grifters is that they catch flats fairly easy. So I'm probably going to end up changing the tires but i'm cutting on them right now so i'm gonna just leave them for a little bit the bike also comes with shimano dior hydraulic brakes i never really used to be a fan of shimano dior's but these brakes are actually hitting right now so i can't complain they're, they're touchy i'm actually getting used to them so i'm probably gonna leave those on the bike for now yeah guys everything else is pretty much stock the bottom bracket is a hollow tech bottom bracket which is actually a pretty good upgrade on these things and we also have a shimano dior 11 speed derailleur on this thing the pro models are pretty upgraded this year compared to stefan's old pro model so like they use shimano z crank same pedals your different derailleur because that's a dior and then this is the dior xt you know what i mean so 
cool little upgrade and everything else is pretty much the same rock shocks forks on both of them does yours come with hook worms or nah they come with a different tire six sleeves. six sleeves that's cool though let's go catch some blocks on the beach too many major plans for the c100 guys i'm actually rocking with his stock out of the box i'm gonna be real it's, it's the bike's riding pretty smooth but eventually i want to set it up just how i have the fast super set up with you know hubs brakes different bottom bracket might change the gear ratio up a little bit but nothing too crazy guys i'm actually liking how this bike rides stock so oh Back. now you're good uh, yeah, you good. The back's cracked. For real? Yeah. Damn. Get through there. Yes, sir. with the C100, you feel me? Shout out to Jake, he designed a good bike, honestly, like this bike, even though I'm a tall rider and this is a 19 inch frame, I feel comfortable on it, you know? I don't care what people say, oh, it's easy. They're gonna be like, oh, you look too tall on it, like, dude, I don't care, I'm just here to ride my bike, I'm just here to have fun. Shout out to Collective Bikes for sending me out this amazing concrete gray C100. They didn't even ask me what color I wanted, but I think they knew you know, the boy with the Nardo way. So they was like, you know, let me sit here with something to match the fasty. I don't know. Shout out to them. Shout out to my boy, David from Bicycle out in Boynton Beach. Thanks for helping me build my bike at your bike shop and giving me some pointers on some of the upgrades on this thing. So I really appreciate that knowledge that he gave me at the bike shop. Comment down below what C100 content you guys want to see. Comment down below what mods you want to see on this thing. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.